Hey everyone, this is my video blog from the latest race, which was Samin in uh, Belgium. I probably said it wrong if you asked a Belgi or a Dutchie, but that's how I read it, that's how I say it, like a classic Aussie. Um, the race was on Wednesday, so we've done a lot of traveling since then. We're actually in Italy now, near Siena, for the Strada Bianca race tomorrow, so that's super exciting for us. Um, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, the race on Wednesday went pretty well. We're all really happy as a team to move on from the Het Newsblad race where it wasn't as good as we'd hoped. So everyone raced really strong and um, put their best foot forward and we had Emma up the road in a break with about uh, 25k to go and that looked like it was going to be the winning break so the rest of us were just ready for the attacks coming from the bunch but we were definitely supporting her for the win. Um, I felt really good that day so I was happy to put in a few good moves, follow some moves and put in one good attack earlier than that and race across the cobbles which we love and um, yeah so it was a really exciting race and that group actually came back and the bunch uh, with bowls chasing even though they had one of their own in the group they were being really aggressive and the group was got caught back by the main peloton which was a lot smaller but still quite a good size for a bunch sprint and so he caught Emma's group with less than a k to go and I was in a really good position but ran out of the legs right near the end so I was hoping to have a crack at the sprint but couldn't quite get there with the uphill drag for the last k but um, definitely good signs and I think I got 11th in the end so definitely a step forward from the first race of the season and hopefully I can keep stepping up again. And Emma was awesome, she managed to get third even though we caught that group before the line so she's obviously in great form and um, going to be awesome for the rest of the spring and for the rest of the year as always. Um, but yeah, it's like, like I said, I'm really happy to keep moving forward myself and um, this Saturday tomorrow we've got the Strada Bianchi race and it's awesome because it's really special for the women It's the first time that we've had it uh, Strada Bianchi translates to white roads So this race is famous for the gravel sections that you race across the women do 17 kilometers in total So it's not a huge percentage of the overall 100 K's that we do but we looked at the course today and it's really tough so those 17 kilometers are going to feel a lot longer than they are. The gravel is not too loose, mostly it's pretty smooth in most of the sections, but super hilly, some really steep sections, a few fast downhill sections that will catch a few people out that are not confident with their skills. So it's just probably going to be one of those races of attrition where the strongest rider will win on the day just because of the nature of the really demanding course. So I'm a bit nervous, but um, I'm also super excited because it's such a cool race and I was really loving being out there today looking at the roads even though it was making me nervous for the race. Um, just to be part of something like this as a first time event I f makes me feel really lucky to be part of women's cycling at the moment. So I'm just trying to put my legs up today and have a bit of rest. Um, not too fatigued from Wednesday, which is good, but I think I still have to be careful and conserve lots of energy tomorrow and race smart and use my mountain bike skills as much as I can. So yeah, I'll take you for a little tour of our hotel, which is really Italian and really cute. Um, it's called Villa Gloria. And so the room is very Italian, as you can see. Sorry, Vale, for generalizing, but that's just what happens. <laughs> uh, we've got a really cool view from our room. Um, we've kept it closed at the moment because it's so windy outside today that the shutters keep blowing open. I can't even open them. So check out that beautiful view from our bedroom. It's pretty cool, hey? But um, yeah, I don't want to take up too much of your time and show you the rest of the place, but I'll take a few photos and put them on my Facebook page. So thanks for following, and I'll try and put up a video after the race. Talk to you soon.